Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. I already had a Solana video today, just wanted to do another one because the expectations have been fulfilled for this current move to the downside. We talked about that. We talked about this as a leading diagonal in a wave one. Won't go into detail here. I talked about that in the previous video and then now in a wave two within ABC. Yeah, so an ABC pattern creates this wave two. Since the, the high of that wave B, we've been coming down in five waves. Uh, until today, we only saw four waves. And I told you in the previous video what we can expect either in a triangle pattern or a normal ABC, we could expect next a move to the downside. We already came very close to the high of the wave A, which in a triangle pattern we should not have, uh, we, sh we were not allowed to break. Um, but yeah, we have then since then started to come down. And that was the expectation that we will see one more lower low in the wave five. Now I gave you a, a target area for this wave five, roughly in the region between $30 and 50 and $31.20. There is no absolute need to get that low. What is that area based on? It is based on the Fibonacci level, the 78.6% Fibonacci level, which is basically here at $30 and 50. Um, we have broken briefly below the 61.8% FIB level, but the daily candle isn't closed yet. Um, and I think I think we could get there, yeah, into that region between 30.50 and 31.20, but there is no need anymore because we made that lower low and we are now in the fifth wave of a wave C, of a larger wave two. And that just means the minimum expectations have been fulfilled and the scenario so far has been fulfilled. The question is now, do we get that low or not? And that is exactly what I cannot tell you with high confidence it should be. That's the ideal area. But it's a bit like the weather forecast. If we get a forecast of 25 degrees in London, if it in the end is only 24 degrees or 23, it's not necessarily a big problem. It's just a little bit off the ideal and forecasted level. The key is that we have come down, that we made that lower low. And at any point in time, we could now expect the Solana price to reverse to the upside. But, and that is now where it's getting very, very important and interesting. What is the level that needs to be broken that we can expect the price to move higher and that we can expect that wave five is finished because we always want to wait for confirmation or see confirmation at least. Now, this is this level here, this swing high at $35.80. If the price now moves around, maybe struggles with that, goes up, retests it from above and then moves higher. That is the confirmation that I would want to say that we can move up now in a wave. And ideally in this scenario, it would be a wave three. So this is still the bullish scenario. I give it a 55% probability, as I said before, maybe 60, but the Solana chart is quite weak compared to other charts. Um, but so far, it's only doing what we talked about. And yeah, as I said, maybe a little bit lower and then now a recovery to the upside, either impulsively or a larger corrective rally. Um, in both scenarios, I would expect rising prices and the move above 35.80 needs to happen. And um, the level that is important to hold really in the bullish scenario for the bulls to defend this scenario is this level at $30.50. A move below that level would not be good for the bullish scenario. And if we break that level, I would have to consider to make the bearish scenario the primary objective or primary scenario. Um, yeah, one more thing to show you here why I also think this move down is for now either exhausted already or getting close to exhaustion. Again, I have no proof yet that this move down is finished. There is no evidence, no reversal signal or anything. But we can see here a very substantial bullish divergence on the four hour RSI and, and also in the MACD, a bullish divergence. And we make lower lows on the price chart and higher lows on the MACD and RSI on the four hour. That is quite meaningful. And that means something. And that is an indication that the wave five is nearly done. Okay. And that's my update about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Here you can get access to the Telegram live chat groups, the Discord server with all sorts of additional content, 
you even you even get access to the um, trading view live charts so whenever i do a change during the day you will actually see it in the charts and a lot of additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye